Good day, everybody, and welcome back to Brent Plays With Himself, Control. In this 13th episode, I just push hard into this story. It gets crazy. And I find my brother. He's alive. I found him. Yeah, everything's great. You don't have to worry about anything. The game's over, right? Can I just have a pizza? Oh, God. Yeah, I've already seen that. Weird. Okay. Oh, this one doesn't play anything? Yikes. We all good? All right. This place is weird. I don't like it. <clears throat> well, well altered items and oh my god, what voice am I doing? Well altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first. It's important to note that some key distinctions. Firstly, Objects of power grant very utilitarian abilities. Secondly, objects of power translocate anyone who makes physical contact to the astral plane. This is widely believed to be due to their affiliation with objects of power. Not every individual is allowed in the astral plane, which indicates a fork evaluates who can or cannot enter. Thirdly, this is not always the case. Objects of power are much more paranaturally fork than altered items. Looking at the specific criteria that defines an object of power, it is no wonder they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have altered items for every object of power contained within the Bureau. I love cubicles. Well, those cubicles went swimmingly. Love all the people floating in the air, by the way. Logistics, security, logistics, security. Okay. How do I get to the Panopticon?
No, nope, I'll listen to it in here, please. Sorry, what was that last part? Sorry, so... <clears throat> if you don't shred it, the result is termination, or... Think I'd check? You think I'm a fool? You're the fool. Wait. Why can't I claim this? Oh. Dude. Clems. Shabushki. Jesus. This place got messed up. Trippy place you got here. No bathrooms. Why does he hate bathrooms so much? Okay. Where am I going? I was like, oh no. But it's fine. It's over here. Ooh. Whoa. That looks important. This way, right? Yeah. Okay. Panopticon. Perfect. In memory of the heroic agents who gave their lives to forces known and unknown for the protection and greater knowledge of all, we honor their sacrifice. The Wall of Heroes. The janitor's been here too! My God. Medical wing got fucked. Okay. Uh, 
Can I get in, please? I can go through. What's going on here? Let me in. I'm so lost. Do I have to go through the medical wing? Alright. I don't think I should have to, but why not? What's up, man? Remember that time that you weren't a giant prick? Because I'm honestly having issues remembering that. this one exclusive to shatter okay three Ooh. Ooh. okay what about here whoa I got a fiver I think I can get rid of twos now, too. I'll get rid of twos as well. I think I'll get rid of twos. Yeah, let's get rid of all twos. Gonna make that sweet, sweet money now. Okay. That was good. Okay. Open up. Freeze! Director Finchie. Oh my god. Director Finchie. Can you imagine? Open. I want you. Oh, shit. Whoa! 
he did. Oh. Oh, shit! Yikes. That got creepy first. How late am I? <laughs> no, you're not too late. Hello. Also, hi Blitz Girl. No, you're not late. I'm looking for my brother. I found out where he is. Mother fucker. You dick. Uh, there's a bunch of health over here now. Blah, 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 blah. Fentry! I'm back too. Now you're all friends. <laughs> Creepy. Yes, how are you doing, Blitz Girl? How's Seattle treating you? That's just a weird room. Okay. Where am I? More importantly, why? Those are showers. Where am I? Oh, oh, I broke it. I'm okay, nothing fan. Super hyped for ECCC. Uh, I need to finish my cosplay. What do you need left from your cosplay? Last I heard, it was... Shoes? Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna do this. One moment while I connect your call. Okay. Ooh, what autographs? I found so this weekend. A brief autograph. Troy Baker, Nolan North. Dressing as Ellie. Just need a wig. Make a brace for machete. Everyone's getting along in my chat rooms. And that's the environment I like. We make jokes, but we care. Where am I? What am I doing? Hello? 
Is that my photo again? Look at that. Look at that. That's a photo right there. They really got my likeness. No. I was like, there's nothing in this room? Usually when there's rooms like this, there's something cool. There was, if I paid attention. Six, nerds. Nothing in this room. Oop. Something in this one. Uh, nothing in that room. Staircase going up. No signage, so... Ooh. Abop has not played or seen it. I can't hear what he's saying, so I gotta go into multimedia. Brent know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, that's all you need to know. Yeah, David, Dick. knows too much and he's too smiley that's right he's too happy with his life drink but that shit got weird i will just do that going forward i don't like to but i will oh. p6 is what the bureau calls dylan his cell's been breached because they has found him. Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Yay! I want in there. So, thank you guys so much for the audio and audio help. Let's let's focus back on what's important. My YouTube channel. So you like? Yeah, I really love playing games with Dave. 
He is so fucking funny. Um, and I thoroughly enjoy just just him. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, he's just so much fun to play with. Um, that Lord of the Rings stuff was so... Don't. No. No. Okay. I'll get to that after this. The EA stuff was really good. I miss the old EA. Again, it's just that whole, like, EA Sports. It's in the game. Really fucking hell. <sighs> okay. Uh, EA was good. Tony Hawk. Lord of the Rings was funny again. It's just that I hate when prophecies or, like, things was, like, so good. Because it was just like, no man can kill me. I'm a woman. And it's just like, uh, stop. All right. Clearly I meant humans. That's on me. Sorry. Like, it's just that kind of stuff I always laugh at. Um, Rick Burns is my favorite. I'm so good, right? Ah. Oh boy. Hello? No, I'm not getting... Right, but she is. Because it's clearly meant in a human way. It's clearly meant in like a... No human can kill me. Yes, I agree. Mary did stuff... And that has been argued as like... Kind of the reason. Fine. But... I still find it funny. Also, for the record, I'm not saying it's crap. I just find it funny. It's just a funny thing to me. To me. But. Thank you. Um. Yeah, the Ranger cut about Rick Burns is my favorite. I love, I love Rick. Rick! Oh boy. And I do love Dave. Yeah, I'm playing with David and he watched the YouTube and he's like, I ignore you a lot. And I'm just like, okay, like that's fine. He's like, yeah, but I shouldn't. And I'm it's just like, sure. It's been a long time sure. since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be. Well, he's bald and creepy for now. Him as so get ready for that. They were for me. Token was a freaking genius, here. I say. They were even harder. So he literally wrote an entire game to his purpose to make that point. Oh, Token. Have you guys seen the Token movie with Beast? Was it good? Would you? Did you like that? Who the fuck are you? Put that down. What are you doing? Who is Kurt? Langston. Never met a Langston oh, that was good. Hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. 
Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all ultimate yeah. items. Don't have time for this. Oh my god. I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. Cool. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about. Mm -hmm. If you don't Oop. contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually I don't, first like, timers everyone to else in, outside so, uh, of the Panopticon was like, oh, Faden. Like, they immediately knew who I was. Whereas this guy's like, and please, uh, man, sure, man. Call me Fred. Fred. Thanks. No, I'm not going to call you Fred. Langston. The sudden stop hits theaters tonight. I can't believe I'm missing an Alex Casey movie for this. The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find it. Let's do this. I claimed it. Whoa, upgrade spin. Three explosive projectiles. Increased base weapon damage. Arr. No. I want to upgrade that. Fine, I don't even care. The bullshit anyway. Okay. I mean, scene. But Dunkirk and Evan actually had ingenious ways to join. So Dunkirk was incredible. I love Dunkirk. I saw 1917. Um. It deserved its win for cinematography. Like... Whoa! Jesus Christ. Oh, that was baller! Uh... Yeah, yeah 1917 had fucking disturbing shit. Nineteen seventeen had some. Yes. Nineteen seventeen had I jumped so much in 1917. Like, I legitimately jumped. It was, like, every time a gun went off, it was just like, blam! Like, me, and I saw it with my brother and my brother's friends, and all of us were just like, every time. Which is good, that's what you want, because, like, that's what it was like for them. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the picnic basket! <gasps> These are all the things! It's the mailbox. The picnic basket I knew about! What are you? You're a... You're a fan. 
You're a mallet. Yeah, the single. Yeah. Well, no, that that to me, I think, was the craziest thing, is it wasn't single shot. It was edited to feel like a single shot. Um, which, like I like I just said, like it worked. I felt like it was a one shot movie. It was really well done. Uh, I did. I felt so bad for one of the actors. Because he's in Game of Thrones. He's actually in Game of Thrones twice. He was a, a small child who got murdered in Game of Thrones. Oh, I, I tried to find the hidden transitions. What I found were, like, it's obviously the easy things where it was like a pitch black scene. It's like, yeah, that's obviously where that cut happened. But the weird thing I found with that was there was also, like, audio and the audio kept going. So it was weird. But anyway, um, yeah, so that actor, he's... And then he played Tommen and he died. And it's just like... Just felt bad. Something went wrong with the bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall. Well, judging from his flash on my screen when I hit that light, um, he's crazy. I don't think she's telling me everything. She's obviously not telling you everything, and now she's gone. Lest we forget, she went. Oh. Well, that's not good. Hello? Is there is anyone there? Hello? Is, any, is anyone there? What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My ship replacement never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Not gonna lie. Probably not gonna do that. I just wanna beat the game. <laughs> I have a thing and I'm not afraid to use it. Rest in peace. What? I have a thing and I'm not afraid to use it? What are you talking about now? Is that something I said? Am I going crazy? That's an empty room. Yeah, man. Sorry. I said I was sorry.
Well, I'll tell you right now, this isn't good. I think we're all having strokes. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. Hi, TV. Oh, no. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> We're all having strokes. This looks familiar. This might have been the, uh... Well, fuck me gently. The longest loading screen. I loved Signs. And I loved Shutter Island. You know what movie I actually really liked? Um, Hide and Seek. With uh, Robert De Niro and Dakota Fanning. I loved that movie. It wasn't, like, super mysterious. Like, you kind of knew what was going on. Which, I guess, doesn't make for a good thriller. But, I liked it. Oh, all the bad guys are gone. That's good. <laughs> this time I'm gonna use my head. I'm going to use my head. Here we go.
I'm gonna die again. Fucking shit! Holy crap! Okay. I went the wrong way. Hi, French guy! <laughs> Did you bring me help? Nope! the fuck? No! Oh, bullshit. Okay. Twist the passage. I don't know how to shoot. Fuck a duck. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. That thing was salvaged. Holy fuck, that was intense. Woo. Didn't stand a chance against the oh man, thank you guys. Your words of encouragement. 
led to this success. Let's go deal with this fucking TV now. Jesus Christ. Okay, the TV. What's this? Another object of power gone Ooh, nuts. Look at this. The crew of the White Ocelot was encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the Hulk. Witness described it as a black sphere with faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew hurled by throwing a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after the vessel lost structural integrity, the ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the Hulk rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates and began diving operations on the ocean floor. The agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported to the to the U.S. port of Hulk. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought into the Bureau via the Hulk. Okay. Here we go again. Kapow! That's right. All right, let's do this. Give me your power, TV. Use the TV slash babysitter. Levitate slash superhero over the top. Oh, Oh my god! Oh boy! So now I can fucking levitate. That's the Oh my god, and I died? Come on!
done. <laughs> Youth. Well, that got extreme. That makes me think of the cha cha slide. Cha cha slide. Cha cha slide. Kind of does, actually. God damn. Ugh, loading screen. Okay, dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Sorry, do Yeah, I, I just went through a whole training course. Do you really feel like you need to tell me how to levitate now? What? What just happened? Holy fuck. Never mind. I get what I have to do now. Hello, sir. Dylan? Will? Will? I am glad everything worked out. Have a great night, Abop. Ciao. Oh. Dylan, he's so close. No! Oh no, four or five. Oh, there we go. Weird. Dylan? Emily? He's gone. 
and Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. What the fuck? I'm confused. Breakfast is brought, gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed. Asks for television to be turned on, staff do so, lunch is brought, breakfast is removed, eats lunch, uses toilet, begins talking to self, recording speech is not possible due to noise from television, comes to set, throws on straight glass, sedated, crew cleans the cell, television turned off, comes to, asks for television to be turned on, staff refuse, sleeps, question mark. Television producers were refused due to hostile behavior. Uh, oh, Benchikov TV, no unique containment. Okay. A CRG television brought by built by Benikoff and Sons Electronics. The screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum observed altitude of hop. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to harness this effect for their own use. See report for the result tested in prime candidate. The object is currently bound by background. The object was first discovered in a local news story from Kansas. A figure had been seen over buildings. The bureau dispatched agents to the town who discovered that a man named had bound himself to the object. Mr. was detained was brought to the bureau. Oh, I, we watched that one. That one's just that. Okay. I have access. What happened there? You want me to go through that, don't you? Oh, no, you don't. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I should check what that mission is, eh? Full health! Yay! Career development! Fast travel. Brother? The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the His signal I can arrange. this? But how did Darling create it? Timeline of events. To examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior. Cyber time is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communication between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview with surviving personnel, pinpointing other outstanding questions of time we may help answer. How did the CIS get past the internal lockdown? How does the CIS, his resonance advance through space, deliberately or uniformly? What is our ultimate goal? The outside world, a cross-dimensional destination? Oh, yeah. Assist the agent. How do I do that? Okay. Whoa. 
Well, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, that's not happening. More files. Researchers attempt to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by his entities. And just to say that this was done with the non aggressive floating his entities. However, no distinction between the repeating phrase and the one repeated by the more violent. His entity has been observed. What is the purpose of this repeating stream? Does it be able to record a first hack? Oh, come on. Oh, here we go. It doesn't have to be a force based on vibration or resonance. Want you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You want these waves to drain you away. Is that the goal? The second one is through and time. Hmm. Interesting. All right, Pope. Let's chat. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. You don't care. You have to write everything in her made-up gibberish code. Fucking Marshall, their CIA spy shit. God. What's going on here? I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, probably right that jukebox. jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The Rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? The Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry. Is she still trying know? to flirt with Jesse? Pretty much. Yeah. We only send it yeah. annual. Hope is still like, hey. Checkups. Salvador. Hey, Bons. you. This year's team went it's in quite and nice. arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have rolled back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Okay, bye. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Ha 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 ha. Um, should I do that? I don't know if I should do. Mm, no. I'm gonna focus on story. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Hey there, Fig. Sorry. If you want me to, but. Stabilizing. 
Rising, Marshall abandons us. What do you know about this Arish guy? What the fuck? In case you were not aware, something caused this sticking out in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I'm working from home until this is resolved. All right, but still, a security guard leading rangers? That is hilarious. I really want that to be a prank. Marshal orders us to just sit on our asses and then leaves? What's the deal? She must have reasons. She's probably out doing some recall. Okay, where's my brother? I need some action. Speak with him. Dylan on the upper level. Where is he? Hi, Dylan. Through time, the thunders hold us for its evil. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted his near right. Leave your hands by the door. Push the thing through the surface into the wet. You've always been in your youth. Why does it be true? If you stand around you while you dream, you can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time, the thunders hold us for its evil. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted his near right. You are a born through time. Shit. The thunder's home to you. Shit yeah. is Dylan. right. Why, pearls, Can you hear me? Oh, you come on, Dylan. Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. No, it's not. Do you not. know who you are? Not Dylan. No. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. Ew. You've always been the new you. You want this Please to stop be true. That. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. no. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. Yeah. <laughs> You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only truth! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Orange Shit. peel? He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert. Through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause. Build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the altered world event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm here warm as a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. 
baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. Am I having a stroke? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I think Polaris is the thing. I welcome the this. camera I let it in. lens thing to that happens. Her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it True turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a one through time. The thunder, you are a one through time. The thunder's I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Oh. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off Thank to you. a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. Cool. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? Just names? I find that weird. I bet you do, psycho. Sure. Yeah, that's 100% the answer, too. Is he trying to sure. Miss you are a worm through time. The thunder's so distorts you. How can this come? Why do you have to yellow red? The inverted is to right. Be fair and psycho. Okay, bye now. You guys continue to monitor. Why haven't we dissected that freak mutation with Von Duck? so much from his physiology. He's a valuable resource. Well. I think I'm all out of time. Um. Let's see about fast travel. Okay. Yeah, I'm all out of time. So. Uh, yeah. It does seem like a good place to stop anyway. So, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you liked what you watched, subscribe to YouTube. All that jazz. Uh, you can find me on social media. Nearly competent. Uh, but anyway. <sighs> you guys have yourself a good evening. I'll see you all next time. Have a good evening. I said have a good evening twice. That's fun. Alright. Night Blitz Girl. Oh! Blitz Girl, last thing. Uh, I beat Witcher 3. I beat it. Uh, so now I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start over, but uh, I'll be doing Death Stranding, so be prepared for updates on that uh, via Facebook Messenger. But anyway. Night! Thank you.
Thank you all so much for watching. To join my guests and I live, check out our Twitch channel, Merely Competent. You can reach us at the social media links in these credits. And if you want to support us even more, check out our Patreon. Thank you to the fiends currently supporting us. We will see you all next time. Have a good evening.